Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Latif. And for today we are looking at the Edradaur 10 year old single malt from um, the Edradaur distillery. And just to give you a little bit of information on it, it is a Highland single malt whiskey. It's a, well, I call it handcrafted in the pocket glen. Everything on the bottle is related to handcrafted, handmade. So um, a lot of emphasis on a small distillery um, that produces only a little bit of whiskey. So um, this is um, bottled at 40% alcohol per volume. Depending on where you buy it, um, I've looked at some of the prices. It can be anything from 35 up to 45, maybe a little bit higher. If you're in Belgium, we pay the premium price. Uh, this one is about 45 euros for the bottle. It is, um, of course, uh, on this one, they state no color was added. So it is a natural color. Um, and at 40% ABV, of, um, it is definitely gel faulted. And if you look at the color, it's got a quite a dark color to it. And um, I do like it when they tell us a little bit of, of this information so that we know if it's colored or not. So clearly stated on the bottle that it is uh, no color was added, 10 years of age. So um, it was a little bit of a struggle for me to decide which one to open today. I've, if you look at my previous video, and I'll leave a, cont uh, a link in a comment, so that you can have a look at some of the whiskies that they still need to open. So um, I, had a, I put a picture on my uh, Whiskey Lovers Society Facebook page of, of this one. And I did get a lot of comments with regards to this whiskey. So I thought maybe it's a good idea to give this one a try. Um, a lot of people like it. A lot of, not a lot of people, well, not everybody liked it so much. So it will be quite interesting to see um, the notes that I get on this one. Uh, the taste, the tasting of it, the aromas of it. So it does make a nice pop. Nice cork, thick. Look like a, a high quality cork as well. Probably handmade somewhere. So if we look at the color. So the color quite dark um, for a 10 year old, especially that they didn't put any color into it. So I hope that, um, that it doesn't end up uh, quite oaky. So um, yeah, fantastic on the nose. Mm, it is a nice whiskey. The aromas is there. Um, I do get a little bit of the alcohol. Um, I wasn't expecting that. But I think if you agitate it a little bit, you get uh, a little bit of that alcohol hit and I can feel it. The cough I want to, to appear. <coughs> and here we go. So we have a load of sweet um, notes. So definitely uh, matured in Olorosa sherry casks. So I get the raisins, definitely. A little bit of uh, vanilla, but, but, but not really much. So it is a com combination of uh, ex bourbon casks and uh, Olorosa sherry cask uh, maturation. 
so quite sweet. So we don't say how long it was in the in the ex bourbon course, or and how long was the finish in the sherry cask. But if I look at the color, I think the sherry casks was uh, quite for extended period to add so much color to it. So um, sweetness definitely. A little bit of a, a creamy note to it. Uh, a, a light chocolate, uh, more like a milk chocolate, a sweet milk, milk chocolate. Also, I get a little bit of a, a dried apricot um, of, uh, aromas to it. Some dried fruits. Um, I think it also maybe a, a dried pear. Um, so it, it's it's a little bit of a fruit basket as well. So uh, on the taste. Wow, <laughs> this is fantastic. I, I, I was expecting a little bit of an oak coming through and um, there's nothing. It is sweet. Um, the alcohol, I almost don't get the, any alcohol. I don't get any of the tannins, no bitterness, loads and loads of fruits, vanilla, the raisins, toffee. So the, the, the Olorosa sherry has got a huge influence on this one. Um, if somebody would have given this me and says have a try, um, and to guess the, the, the sherry, I think I would have gone a little bit um, towards the Pedro Evanes just because of the sweetness on it. I, I normally don't get that lot of sweetness um, in the Olorosa sherry. This is really nice. And you know it, it's nice <laughs> when I keep on going back to it. All in all, it, it, for me it ticks all the boxes. I know people that watch my channel, they, they know I hate the oak. I hate the, the notes that they put on bottles that never corresponds to what I, what I get on it. And um, for me, um, well, I haven't looked at the notes on this one, but I can bet you now they, they look at the same type of notes that I just said. The sweetness is there. Um, the floral notes, uh, maybe not so much floral. No, um, what I do get is the fruits, the dried fruits, the, the Christmas cake. Oh my word, the Christmas cake. I can just imagine taking this and um, and with a piece of nice uh, Christmas cake. Gonna be perfect. We already have all the fruits in a glass. So yeah, fantastic. Um, vanilla, it's also now a little bit, if I give it a little bit of time in a glass, I also get a, a, more of the van vanilla notes. A little bit of a, maybe, a little bit of a honey sweetness also coming through. And when I get a, an apple note, um, a, a nice um, a green apple, like a granny spit type of apple. Also a little bit of a almonds. Um, not much, uh, but I get a little bit almond flavors, um, like um, amaretto. Um, it's got like a hint of amaretto um, in it as well. So 
So um, in the finish, I just get a, a sweetness, uh, the same type of taste that you have when you had a piece of fruitcake and when you're done that you've got that um, raisiny sweetness, cherries, all those flavors that lingers in the mouth with almost, well, zero bitterness. Um, this is freaking awesome. So for me, I, I just love this one. And I'm glad that I picked this one from all my other bottles. Uh, and um, this is, um, for me, a, a definite 93 out of 100. The price is right. The flavor profile for me is perfect and um, it's something that you can enjoy at 40% ABV it's not going to to kill you I would definitely not add water to it this is perfect as it is the little gem I think they were they were correct and setting the little gem from the pocket glen I definitely agree with that perfect score for me perfect drinker for me so please um, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, click that bell. Apparently the bell is very important, so click that bell. So that um, you will get a notification with my next videos coming out. So thank you for watching. And, um, and thanks for all the people that made some comments. I really appreciate it. So cheers and see you next time.